Hey everyone and welcome to Games and Breakfast, the show that introduces you to games and the time it takes for you to get ready in the morning. I'm Alex and today we're looking at Nova Drift, a roguelike space shooter that is completely amazing, one of my favorite games I've played so far this year. Let's get started. The first thing I'll say is Nova Drift, the way it works is you gain experience points as you kill uh, enemy uh, ships, you pick your gear with the first three uh, upgrades, so you decide you know, what kind of ship you're going to have, what kind of weapon you're going to have, and what kind of shield you're going to have, which you can change later on by the way. And then then you modify those three things very, very, uh, you know, extensively throughout the course of a run with uh, many upgrades. To say that there are many upgrades is an understatement. I've been playing this game for like 15 hours and I've not even unlocked everything. There are so many upgrades and like mod trees and opportunities to do cool things. It is completely incredible. The replayability of this game is nothing short of spectacular. I haven't even unlocked super mods yet. I've been playing a ton of this game. It There's so much to it. For a game that appears so simple to start, it's got so much going for it. There's also a bunch of uh, modifications as well. Uh, you can just do a regular game by turning all these off, but once you add the challenge modes, you can actually kind of make the game harder and customize it to your uh, to your kind of uh, preferences and also get bonus experience and bonus score. I'm actually covering it. I should slide over here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'll slide myself over quickly. So yeah, if uh, you do this here, you'll see that, uh, you know, I know it's a little strange, I just slid there, but you if, um, you know, you activate danger zone, uh, waves advance faster and enemies enter the fray more frequently, um, and uh, you get a score bonus, so I'll activate that. We can activate uh, the starting, well of be, uh, starting wave of being 12, which is fine. The enemy encounters are harder, and sometimes we get elites, I'll take it. And also, we're going to get a uh, hostile uh, universe, so basically we're going to get more black holes, asteroids, and comets. Sounds perfect. Let's actually get started. I'm going to slide myself back here, which is a lot of fun. There ain't nothing like some awkward uh, live editing here. Let's go. So I'm going to keep this build relatively straightforward here. Um, if I want to go forever, not forever, the game gets incredibly hard, but I've had some pretty lengthy runs here, but we want to we want to get this done while you're getting ready for your morning routine here. So I'm going to do a very aggressive uh, grenade build, which will probably end up killing me eventually. So I picked grenade. So you saw the gun I had before, and now I have a grenade that just kind of explodes. I have a ton of different options for weapons, but now I'm going with the grenade. So it's a slow firing, like I'm hitting the gun as fast as I can. This is as fast as it shoots. Okay, now we got another level up. We got two level ups actually. Now we pick our shield. We got a whole bunch of different options like reflection. Well, if someone hits me, the the projectile reflects back. Halo is like a burning effect. Shockwave is really cool too. There's like an ebb and flow effect. Temporal. I'm going to show you temporal because I think it's pretty cool to demonstrate that basically anything that comes into the range is greatly slowed. And then we get to pick our body. What kind of body we want to do? Um, and they all have very different designs. Now we can actually reroll this. I don't see the assault, which is what I want. So I'm going to re-roll again. Oh, I got to re-roll again? No way. Where's the assault? There it is. Assault, basically I have reduced shields, but I have improved rate of fire, projectile speed, and projectile velocity, uh, which is exactly what we want. So we'll take that. And you're going to see here that I can shoot faster now, and the actual velocity of my grenade is a lot higher. So it actually travels a little faster, so it's a little easier to aim. Which is kind of what we want here. And again, see how those projectiles slow down as it entered my range there? So let's throw a grenade there. It blows up. Oh, that guy just kamikaze right at me here. So this is the start. As you can see, the enemies are losing, are leaving mines there. Now we get to pick our first major upgrade. Now, on the right here, you'll notice that each upgrade you pick brings you down another tech tree. So Blast radius is really cool for grenades because then we can increase our blast radius just straight up with high explosive, right? That is exactly what we want to do. So there, there are others that are very valuable as well, but we're going to start with blast radius here because we want to improve the lethality of our uh, grenades. So we're going to take this here. Again, this game, oh my gosh, this game has got me addicted. This game has, like, honestly, it is so fantastic. I've, as always, all my videos, uh, links in the description below for this in early access. It's not an expensive game, and it is still in early access. Uh, currently, they're going to be doing some modifications to the next update is on enemies to improve enemy variety. Uh, which there are a lot of, there are a lot of different types of enemies, uh, but of course, more enemy variety never hurt nobody. I actually got another option here. Um... Magnitude's really key here. I do want magnitude. We're going to take high explosive to start simply so that we increase the blast radius of our grenade. So our grenades are exploding a little higher. We're going to take magnitude next and I'll explain why. We could even take rate of fire next. Okay, nice. We got we got an extra reroll. We got another upgrade. As you can see, the upgrades are happening pretty frequently. Ooh, got bumped there. Okay, let's actually... That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm actually going to reroll here. 
We're gonna re-roll again. We could do extra rate of fire. It's not a bad pickup. But what I'm looking for is magnitude. And the reason why I want magnitude is not only is it gonna increase our projectile size, weapon damage, and blast radius, which is great for grenades, but it's gonna give us splinter. The next ev uh, evolution of this is splinter, which basically means my grenades blow up and turn into other mini grenades at the expense of rate of fire, which we can then offset with one of the other um, with, with one of the other uh, upgrades. So we're gonna take magnitude here. So magnitude, basically, we're just shooting a little. Uh, the grenade explodes a little low. Oh man, Alex, pay attention. There we go. So there's the grenade there. So and a lot of the enemies have weapons that like you find in the game itself. He's dead. Oh, look at that. Those are those are mines. I'll blow those. Look at uh, blow those up there. I want nothing to do with that torrent there. I'm also glowing all funny colors here. There we go. Those guys are dead. There's Splinter. Hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah. That's exactly what we want. Splinter's what we want, and we're gonna actually go with um, rate of fire increase. So we picked up Splinter, which is gonna split everything up. We actually got a bunch of upgrades there. Now we went with the rate of fire increase, and now we're gonna go with volley as well. Which is going to decrease our blast radius, but it's going to give us more projectiles. Look at the upgrade we just made. Oh, oh. So look, now see how there's mini grenades? And also I'm glowing funny colors here, which is fantastic. Look at this. Now I'm literally just creating a situation where it's just fireworks non-stop. And look, do you notice how those uh, the projectiles are slowing down when they reach my shield? See how they, just around me there's that faint purple. Hopefully the YouTube compression doesn't kill it. But I dodged those shots there because of my temporal shield. This game is like infinitely replayable. I'm telling you right now, this like early contender for game of the year for me for for the year already. Like it is truly remarkable. Um, we don't want more blast damage over radius right now. Are we gonna re-roll this. I think we are, or we can in increase our shield. We can make our shield effect even wider. And sure enough, that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna increase our shield radius very significantly. And we are also going to increase our maximum shield. Uh, we can even do drones. You know what? Let's do drones. So we have drones here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to build these little drones that actually circle us and help and attack and uh, take down enemies, okay? There are, like, the engineer class and the carrier class focus specific... Whoa! That game came out of nowhere. That guy came out of nowhere. So this is, like, an elite guy. So this is one of the elites. So he is a, he's a guy that tries to, like, punch you in the face. So the way you kind of beat him is by hitting him in the back so he can't really charge at you. If he charges at you, he will kill you. And he's down. Got another upgrade. Uh, burst fire is actually super good with uh, grenades because uh, basically what it does is it just shoots out triple the amount of grenades. Look at that. And now look at this. Now mini grenades everywhere. Can you guys see how amazing this game is quickly becoming and how each individual run is providing you with like this really interesting experience? It's awesome. Like, I absolutely love this game. Love it. And, like, my favorite, like, I love doing these uh, grenades builds. And, uh, like, I'll die, I'll die soon. But um, I love doing the grenades builds because it's just a ton of fun. But, like, the engineer class and the carrier classes with, like, all the mini constructs is so fun. And, like, those runs can last, like, 45 minutes an hour. So, for the sake of time, I wanted just to show off a little bit. And do a build that was gonna kill me eventually. I almost just died right there, actually. And like maybe I try to save myself a little bit. I'm gonna go velocity and I'm going to. Hmm. I could drop a turret. No, we're gonna re-roll here. We're gonna take faster shield cooldown. No, let's take uh, extra hull strength just so we survive. I almost just died right there. Okay, these guys hit for a ton of damage, and they're very explosive. I'm almost out of health. I'm waiting for that shield to recharge. See at the bottom there? Whoa! I, I almost died there. I didn't want to die quite yet, but oh. Okay, there's some uh, comets there. You can see that shield, like, just really helping save me, eh? Give me a chance. Oh, I almost just drove into that one. Singularity detectives, we got a black hole. Black hole incoming, boys. So I gotta- you don't wanna go in the black hole, but you- you gotta like, fly away. Okay, okay, we should be okay, we should be okay. Alright, boys, we did it, we did it. No death, black hole. You didn't get us that time. Got another upgrade. We will take... Fire Array is not bad. 
So basically, it makes our center grenade a little, like, more intense. Now we're against the boss here. Now the key to this boss... Spoilers... Is... He has weak points inside of him. Now what's ironic is we're actually hitting those weak points with the grenades. But like what you want to do is get right oh, right in here. See these little things? Oh. Ooh, I almost just died there. But that's what you want to do. You want to get inside the ring there and he has weak points. But like I'm actually really strong right now. Double base projectiles. Yes. Now look at this. Now we're just like, there's just grenades everywhere. Now this guy is, like he, if he locks on you, he tries to kill you. But we're doing a ton of damage here. We are just shooting so many grenades. It's crazy how like we started this game just shooting one grenade, right? One grenade, that was it. And here we are. Just laying grenades out like crazy. This guy could kill me here, he's shielding up. Gotta stay away from him, because if he charges me, he's gonna kill me. See? That's what we gotta really watch out for. And again, with like any roguelike, once you start getting familiar with the enemy types and learning like their their attack patterns, you start to get a little better, right? Look at this. But the game the game just continuously gets crazier and crazier, right? Decrease projectile spread we can. Okay, this makes it so that we're a little more uh, helps us against bosses and tighter and uh, more difficult enemies. Do that, right? See how I was kind of spinning? Those are mines, don't want to hit those. Now, one thing I will say is, because I'm trying to like show the game off and like the attack side of it, I have not been taking many defensive abilities, so I'm, I'm really vulnerable to dying. Like, my shield's really weak. I don't have much shield strength, almost no hull strength. Like, usually you can kind of make it so like you're very tanky. I've not done that at all. So like, look, all these like general like protective things, I'm just ignoring. Why? Why not? Uh, we're gonna go with... Uh, we're gonna keep rolling here. Let's do another roll. We're gonna go with... Uh, do I go with Concentrated Blast? No, no, no. We're gonna go with... Uh, add, a ba add a burning effect to our uh, our grenades, which will help against bosses and stuff. Look at that. Just eating these guys apart. So much firepower. It's not supposed to be this easy. It's not supposed to be this easy. Ooh. Corrosion. Yes, we'll apply corrosion. Oh, I just realized I'm, I'm picking things rather fast. Oh, no, no, no. That's a mistake. I should not be picking things that fast. You're not getting a chance to even read them. I started off the video by going so sl uh, so slowly here. So corrosion, my apologies. Basically, it, it provides a, a corrosive stacks, igniting people for damage uh, per second. Um, and that is fantastic, and it kind of spreads across, okay? I'll try to be a little more... I'm trying to be faster, because I know that, like, you know... Some people's morning routines are shorter, other people's are longer, so... I like to be around the 10-minute uh, the mark, and I know I'm well past that now. You know, 10, 15 minutes. Good little morning uh, morning video for you. Okay, I'll probably die here. Actually, I probably won't, because this guy isn't much of a threat, and look how much damage I'm doing to him. I'm doing so much damage to him so fast. Okay, I'm gonna go off the other side here. Oh no, 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 no. Take See, using the, uh, the sides is actually kind of really important there. There, he's dead. No, don't burn me. I almost just died again. So. Damn. Okay, we're gonna get rocket drones here. So the, the drones circling around me shoot rockets now. I am close to going down, boys. Yeah, see, I'm done. I'm done. But you know what? That was a good run. It was a damn good run because, like, again, I was trying to show off, like, all the attack stuff and, like, the explosion. So I didn't build sustainably, but, like... It's one of those things where it's like, you know, it's just a fun game. So that was my sixth best run. And, you know, I, again, the one epic that was done live on stream. We had a hell of a run. A hell of a run. But this is Nova Drift. It is such a fantastic game. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. And a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. Check out the playlist above for more games and breakfast. And we will see you in the next video.